What is your full name? Catherine Francis Sayre Brown. Okay. When and where were you born? I was born uh, February 5th, 1915, in Detroit, Michigan. Okay. Um, where have you lived? I've lived in Detroit, Gross Point. Uh, well, I've traveled all over the world and lived in different places. Mm -hmm. Short time. That's, that's a question. That's another question coming up. So. Oh. <laughs> Don't go that far ahead. Um, Around the world we time. Yeah. Do you have brothers and sisters? Yes, I have two brothers, one older and one younger. When and where were they born? They were born, the oldest one was born in Detroit on uh, May, I've forgotten his birthday, in May of 1916, 15, 14, 13. <laughs> he's easier he, you to say. He's, he's <laughs> 13 and I'm 15 and my other brother is 1916. So what was the oldest one's name? His name was George, and, and my younger brother's name was Robert. Robert um, George became a doctor. Yeah. George became a doctor. Where do they live now? Well, George has passed away, and Robert lives in Northern California. Okay. Um, do you have any special recollections of your grandparents? Oh, yes. Uh, my mother's parents were very uh, close to our family, and we used to spend summers with them, uh, and we used to visit them very, very often. Where? And, well, they moved. They were in a little town in southwestern Michigan in Monroe County, and then they moved to a larger town in Michigan called Ypsilanti. What was the smaller town? It was a little t sort of a township called Petersburg. Oh, still there. Still yeah. there, yes, and it was on the River Raisin. And we used to go and spend uh, oh, m a month or so in the summertime. And it oh, was, wonderful. It was really wonderful, yeah. Wonderful time. Are there any family traditions? Are, and also, do you have any family keepsakes? Oh, yes, I have a lot of family keepsakes. I don't think we had any particular family traditions. We just, well. Like what are some of the keepsakes you have? Oh, pictures and uh, uh, memorabilia of, of uh, well, certificates and school, uh, things Diploma like that, thing. diplomas and things like that. Um, what schools did you attend? I attended the local elementary school, then I moved to the to the uh, intermediate, they called it the intermediate, sixth, mm -hmm. seventh, and eighth. That was in Detroit? Uh-huh. And then the high school, and then I went to college in uh, the city of Detroit, which later became Wayne University. Okay. What was your first job? My first job was uh, teaching. I uh, trained as a teacher. And I had a job with the city of Detroit uh, in one of their schools. What did you teach? I taught art. For how many years? Uh, about three years. Right. Um, what special talents or hobbies do you have? Well, um, I, I did a lot of painting. I did sculpturing. And then I did photography. And uh, I used to love photography carried a camera all over the world, take pictures wherever I went. And then I took up a hobby of uh, genealogy. Yeah. That'll make this report a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
Then I uh, took up the computer. Yeah. It was forced upon me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just time. Um, oh, I know a special talent that you have. It's probably my favorite, well, special talent of yours is uh, sewing. Yes, yes. I'm, oh, I did a I, lot that's, of sewing. That's quite a talent. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you going to be a dress designer at one time? Well, I thought something of it when I was in college, but I went into it <clears throat> and <clears throat> researched it and realized that <clears throat> it meant moving to New York and scrambling around in that big city, and I just felt as though I just couldn't hack that. So I turned to teaching art, and I loved it. The children just love art class. I know. I love art class. Yes. And they well, behave themselves. Second only to that English that class. What? Are you saying get yeah, yeah, art class is tight. Like but, it? yeah, I like it, but not as much as I like English class. Why do you like English class? Shh. Oh. <laughs> okay, you understand why now. Um, what are the names of your parents? My mother's name was Ida May Stone Sayre. And my father's name was Frank Valentine Sayre, because he was born on Valentine's Day. Oh. When and where were they born? They were born in Michigan. Uh, Petersburg? Does it say on there? Hmm? It does on the pedigree chart, yes. It okay. Does. Yeah. Um, you can look in the pedigree chart and you will find the exact dates. Do you know who in your family first immigrated to the United States? Well, on my father's side, it was in the 1600s. Wow. And <clears throat> they came over and they settled on Long Island in New York. It's not Long Island, it's Long Island. Long Island. Long Island. Long Island. And on my mother's side, the Kedzies came from Scotland in, um, what was it, 1790. And they settled, why did the Kedzies settle? They also landed in New York but, and lived one yeah, winter they, and then they settled in. Yeah, they, they settled in New York State. And then <clears throat> one, of the, one of the sons, my ancestor took his family and <clears throat> sailed down the newly opened Erie Canal huh. to the Lake Erie, took a boat from Lake Erie to the mouth of the Raisin River. And he, he and his wife and their seven children, the youngest was a baby, six months old or something like that. Wow. Imagine making that kind of a journey. What with would a you crying, do? whining baby. Yeah. <laughs> I would have thrown it in the river. What would you do That's about... That's what I did. What would you do about the dirty diapers? Ooh, I'd, have the the <laughs> I'd have thrown them in the river. I'd have thrown them in the river along with the baby. <laughs> yeah, they settled there in, at the, in Monroe. In Monroe, Michigan, in Petersburg. Or right. Right around there. Right. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, did any family member serve in the military? Um... George. Grandpa. We got his story. Yeah. Um, How about George Stone? Oh, cavalry. my brother was no, in, was in right. World War II. He, he, he was forced to join the Navy. The and Navy. he went to the South Pacific yeah. for months at a time. And the Navy lost his records and didn't know he was there. <laughs> they forgot about him. <laughs> they forgot about him. So he must have stayed up there for a good while. For a good while. And finally another guy showed up and said, Hey, I'm supposed to take your place. You may leave. Oh. And he said, Thank you Thank very God. much. Well, how about the other George Stone who was in the cavalry and, and was... Oh, yeah, that was Custer. my grandfather, yes. And he joined the army. He served with... Uh, Custer. Yeah, Not Custer. Custer, no. He served with... Crooks. Oh, right. Crook. George Crooks. And he, uh... And he fought at that. Battle fought. of... The Battle of the Ro Rosebud he fought at. And then he <coughs> learned that Custer had been massacred, and the army marched out, and his 
troop was one of the ones that cleaned up the camp and, you know, buried the rotting bodies wow. on, on the hillside. It's a dirty job. A dirty job. <laughs> Uh, 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 okay. Last question. How has your life changed over the years? years? My life has changed for the better. Every change I make <laughs> yeah. is better than the one before. You sure dodged that one. <laughs> okay, that'll do. <laughs>